everyone, welcome to this chat view with Mandy Evans and the English sisters. Hello, Mandy. Hello. Hello. Good morning, good evening, good whatever it is, wherever you are. <laughs> yes, it's evening over here in Italy, but um, yes. viewers, we've got viewers all over the world, friends of ours that watch, so you're right. Good morning, good evening, or good, good afternoon. afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Isn't that wonderful how there's different time zones yeah. in the world? It's, yes, it seems like a total miracle to me that it we does. made up time. I think we made up time. I, I really do. And then that it works, you know, that we could plan this weeks ago. And then here we are, Rome to Palm Springs. A miracle. It's a miracle. It is a miracle. And of course, you're the expert in miracles, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but I'm pretty good at accepting them and, and in dealing with that yeah. because I'm convinced that there's, there's no shortage of miracles. But sometimes we can be a little limited in our ability to accept them and let them in and even perceive them. So I think if we all really accepted miracles, we would just wander around awestruck all the time. Well, I suppose everything's yeah. a miracle, isn't it? Even if you just stop a minute oh. and uh, listen to like the bird song outside yeah. or to how you, how you can fe feel your feet on the ground. You know, that's quite Absolutely. miraculous how we even have feeling to be able to feel that. Yes, and then when you think of things, well, first of all, that, that there could be life. Of all the things that could happen, that there could be life. And then things like kindness. I mean, what, what an extraordinary creation. You know, so thankful to whomever created kindness. <laughs> and then connection. <laughs> connection like this. I've felt such a connection with you two lovely sisters since the very moment I was aware of you. Aww, and how I look like miraculous magic. Aww. Well, we've heard about you for so long, ever since yeah. we first started, um, you know, learning about uh, NLP and hypnosis. Your name was everywhere. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's been such an honor for us to actually be able to talk to you today that it's a bit like a miracle for us, isn't it? It is like a miracle. <laughs> it definitely is a miracle. <laughs> it's something that we, we would have never dreamed of. No. And yet, here we are doing it. Yeah. It's Me pretty too. amazing. No, it's a, double, a triple miracle. So, so how would you? Um, so you, oh, we know you do uh, lovely workshops and things. Uh, uh, what, 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 what do people come to you for? Yeah, you know how do how do people come? In what kind of state do you do your clients come to you, Mandy? Yeah. <laughs> you know, all, like, all sorts of states are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> In deep dark despair, or, or you know happy and successful but sensing that there's just some sort of limit you know somewhere something holding them back a little bit and all the range in between and what I work on my area of expertise is how to find the beliefs that limit us because right. they're so unique I can't imagine the size of the database inside each one of us That's of amazing. all the conclusions we've come to and the perceptions we've formed and the opinions that we live by without ever knowing. So I'm really a belief detective. <laughs> I am no great expert on the truth or what's good to believe or what's not good to believe. Um, but I'm pretty convinced that the truth will set you free. So the opportunity to explore together, what is it that seems true to you that's holding you back? Because I'm pretty sure if it's holding you back, it's not true. And that's what we look to find. And I've done that every way I can think of doing it, you know, with books and workshops and uh, some videos and um, talks and, and this kind of information. I think mostly because in my early life, 
I was so frightened and in such despair for so long. Yeah. And it, the moment that I realized that there was a door that I had never known I had closed, that I could open and walk through, that was truly a miracle. And ever since then, I've just been eager to share it any way I can. Just the possibilities, the infinite possibilities that are available to all of us, but we can't see them when we're stuck believing that we have to be angry or we need to be afraid in order to protect ourselves or we're not worth whatever it is that we want. All of those kinds of beliefs, and then ones you've never heard of before. You know, when I work with people, there's always that moment of, you believe, what? Yeah. <laughs> and they, and they have the same feeling. I believe what? Uh, so that's basically what the essence of my work is. Wow. Well, well yes, because a lot of people do, and um, they they have the belief. They believe that the belief is there, and it has a purpose. There's a reason for that's it, right, and they yeah. don't realize that they might have formed that belief in the past and it's not even useful to them anymore That's or like right. what you're saying they're acting because they are frightened mm. sort of like they yeah, feel so it they, yeah sorry that's such an interesting point because finding out that a belief isn't useful doesn't really help all that much because if it still seems true to you then all you're left with is oh my reality is awful right. or unuseful but you really can find your way through them by questioning them. You know, first become becoming aware of them. That's, that's a miracle right then and there yeah, when, yeah. when the clouds part and you can see what you're believing. And then to explore it about what seems true about it and why do you believe it. Right. And what are you afraid would happen if you didn't believe it? Mm. And then when people's belief systems start breaking up, it's like going into dense fog. It, you know, it's very disorienting when your version of reality just starts to break up like a puzzle. And then you're not really left with a new, better belief, but in open territory, you know, with open doors in a brand new field. And that, that can be unsettling. Right, when yeah. When you don't know where you are, <laughs> yeah. you don't know what will happen. <laughs> They've That's always true. got you, though, haven't they? <laughs> They've got you that are facilitating, like a warm blanket, someone that's yeah. helping them yeah. through, guiding them until they can actually realise that, you know, they are the ones that are standing on their own two feet. That's right. But, you know, sometimes we all need help, don't we? We need mm. someone that maybe has more knowledge than us or has been, you know, can present something in a different way. That's right. And can yeah. help us seek past those clouds and see what we're actually doing. Find the sunshine. Mm. Yes, absolutely, and I think that's really the, the job and the mission of all of us teachers and coaches, is to go with you, so you don't have to go all by yourself. That's yeah, that's right. Yeah. To look under the bed, or when you're confused, or in the, that dark corner that you've never looked at, and also to see all the things that none of us can see about ourselves. That's true. You know, we, we, we know more about ourselves than anyone else does. But there are all kinds of things about us that someone else can see that we can't. That's or even right. just saying, let's look over there, when it never occurred to me that there even was an over there. That's right. Much less how. Look. Yeah. Yes. I like the... Sorry. Go ahead. No, I said it's a bit like, I suppose, when we first started doing, we started doing video. Yeah. We, we, we couldn't recognize ourselves on the video no. for, for who we were in real life, so to speak. Mm. And yet, now, the video and the real life has merged because we can see, we can like see both sides of us. I suppose yes. it's a bit like when you look in a mirror. Yeah, but you don't always have a mirror around and, and you, you can't, can't always see you what you're doing with your face. You can't always see, you can never see your facial expressions normally when you're actually talking. Most people don't talk in the mirror, do they? <laughs> well, they might sing. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but it's about practice. speech once in a while. Ah, you do. Well, 
Well, there you go, because it's useful to practice, because you can see. <laughs> right, but you don't have an animated conversation like this. No. When you're looking at yourself, it's quite startling. I'm, I love the, the notion that virtual reality is becoming more prevalent than regular reality. And, you know, the amount of time we spend on Facebook and streaming videos and now Skyping. Oh my God! I, like you, you said it merges, and I don't know well, what what real is real anymore. Well, it is real because if we met you in real life, we would feel as if we know you because we do. Yes, because we've seen you. Yes, because it is real life, and we are meeting. Yes, yeah. yes, this is really uh, happening, and so it's it's. <laughs> It is odd, but but you can feel empathy. You can feel emotion. You can you can transmit. You can connect, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you can definitely. Absolutely. Especially with the video, I find because if it's just auditory, mm. it's more difficult because you can't actually see the facial expressions, and uh, you know you can't see as much mm -hmm. what's going on with the with the with the I suppose the other than conscious. Uh, Communication, communication, mm -hmm. the uh, the unconscious communication that we all give out when we speak to each other as human beings. That's right. But um, mm -hmm. it's fascinating, though. It really is because yeah. uh, it's it's and it's such a valuable learning tool, don't you think? It is absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing because we can actually reach people that we wouldn't normally be able to reach. In their homes. No, I said, I know, just five years ago, who would have thought that you and I would be meeting? I mean, who knew that we would be Facebook friends? Or exactly. I, have, I do sessions with people in Australia and the go. UK and Buenos Aires last week. It's just wow. blows my mind when I think I'm 70 years old and when my grandfather was my age, he used to just shake his head and say, oh, it's going too fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going so fast. I don't know what was happening so fast. Maybe color TV. I don't know. <laughs> now I too, I think, oh my, what, what do I have to learn this week? How do I have, I have to figure out how to do, you know, some new thing like on my web page or just unbelievable the connections that we can have. And I'm so excited to be in networking with people who want to bring, oh, it sounds so corny, but it is so real. It's to real. bring love and peace and harmony and creativity and joy <laughs> into this planet and share it, uh, other than the standard, you know, media format of it. If it bleeds, it leads. You yeah. know, it's such an um, an amazing opportunity we have well, to communicate. That's, outside of that. That's, that's so beautiful because, I mean, yeah. why should that be corny though, man? if you think about it? That's what should be, that should be the message we should all be out there, to, you know, to give. And it shouldn't mm. have to be labelled as corny, should it? But we feel it's almost corny because it's like, oh, it's so good and it's, you know, being so nice to everyone and so kind. And, oh my gosh, you know, who are you? Are you uh -huh. real? Don't you ever get angry? Don't you ever, you know... <laughs> Do things that normal human beings do. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh -huh. But don't you find that? Frozen. Don't you find as you get more conscious and, and more accepting that the anger and the fear sort of just drop away? Yeah, I yeah. still feel them. I mean, I have a full range of emotions that I feel. I don't get caught in them, and I don't no. believe. I don't. I don't justify them and I don't fight for them. No, no. I'm eager to let them go when those feelings happen. And I secretly, when I wander around the supermarket, I bless people. Aww. But they don't know. They might not even like it. But I just, Aww, <laughs> in so my heart, sweet. I just sometimes just think, oh, bless you. Aww. Aww. Oh, what a sweetheart. <laughs> 
But that, that is... That's unconditional love, isn't it, Mandy? It's like, as you're saying, Mandy, when you do, when you know how to, you know what, why you're feeling the emotions, where they're coming from, yeah. even if they're negative emotions, you can embrace them and say, hey, I'm feeling this. Okay, why am I feeling it? Yeah. Do I need to feel it right now? Or maybe I want to for a little bit. You know, keep right, it yeah. there for a little bit. Yeah. But then afterwards, it's not going to ruin your day. It won't be a five-minute thing and then you're we'll be off looking at the like what you say the wonderful people around us or yeah definitely you know, the beautiful nature that there is to look at uh, how blessed we are I think if we we if we all think how lucky we are if we just you know appreciate what we all have mm. that's one of the basic uh, things for, for being happy really well it's difficult not to be happy isn't it if you do appreciate everything <laughs> <laughs> It's actually uh, difficult not to be happy. Absolutely. Yeah. Very difficult. Yeah. And when you see people in trouble, for example, I used to be really disturbed if I saw a mother being harsh with a child in a supermarket. And, you know, I still don't like it. I want all children to be cared for gently and lovingly. But in the last few years, I've, um, I'm kind of shy. So I've overcome my shyness to the point where I can actually just sometimes cite, it takes a lot of patience, doesn't it? Yeah, so you and empathize. You just, see yeah. it, you just see it melt away. You see, yeah. Sometimes, you know, women's eyes filled with tears just because they're not alone for that moment with that problem. But if we think anger is the way to deal with everything or judging everybody as if I have the keys to all knowledge is the way to go, you really are stuck behind a door that you might not even have known you closed. That's right. You don't. Re that's the sad part. You don't realize you closed it. No. And um, yeah. And unfortunately, I mean, you know, some people never do open it again, and they live their lives like that with a closed door, which is really sad. Mm. And it's nice for you know people like you are opening doors every day. Yeah. through the work that you've done and the books that you've written and everything you're doing and that is opening doors for other people to to model you for a start and to to, to send your message out and learn learn from you know the gifts that you've been able to give them which is beautiful yeah absolutely oh thank you thank you here's, here's, here's to open doors open doors open i doors. think we can round it up yes there. open doors with mandy Evans. open absolutely. doors with mandy Evans. <laughs> <laughs> doors windows <laughs> all it takes okay oh, thank you mandy lovely talking to you and we hope bye, we can... bye. thank you so much thank bye -bye. you bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye.